Hi, welcome back to Pear Tech Talk. This will be a short video on how we add embedded software package to the Cube IDE. Specifically, we will install the Touch GFX package, but the same method can be used for all other software package from ST. Firstly, we need to start STM32 Cube IDE in closed all projects. This is what I have done here, as you can see. Then we need to log in and you can see my name up here, hello Peter, which is my name. So I have logged in. If it doesn't say your hello and your name, please log in because otherwise you have to do it once later. So it's better to have it done from the very beginning. So we start by trying to get the, the, the software that we have installed up to latest version. So we go under help and then we check for updates. In my case, it said no updates found, and uh, that is fine. I noticed also one thing, I'm not sure if it's only for me, but when I have a VPN client enabled, uh, then there is some issues for, uh, for me at least, for having my uh, cube IDE to come out on, on the net and find something. So try to disable the VPN client for uh, when you're installing the new software here. So if you have uh, found uh, an upgrade and uh, you install that, of course, then, then I, it's a recommendation that you clo close uh, the STM32 Cube ID and relaunch it. So we can take it from there that you have installed all your software updates and uh, you have relaunched it. Then you go up again under help. Now we go down to managed embedded software packages. We click there. Then we get up this little menu. Here you have different tabs and what we're looking for is this tab, the ST Microelectronics. Here you have all the packs that are uh, available for you to download. And in this case we are looking for the Touch GFX and that is in the very end. Uh, if you haven't installed it prior, uh, it will all be blanks. I have that one installed, so I will remove that one because there is a newer one available for me. So if you haven't installed Touch GFX from uh, earlier, this is what it looks like. So you have the opportunity to install older versions. But if you don't have a special uh, compiling reason, uh, compelling reason for having an older version, uh, I would suggest that you just go with the latest one. And we just hit install. Depending on, on your internet speed, it takes a different uh, time. I have 600 megabit download speed, so it goes quite rapid. And so we need to, I uh, have read the agreement. And now it's installing it into our software tool. So now we can see here, now we have the TF touch GFX generator installed. So we can just hit close. And as always, I recommend that when it's done, just click restart on the software. Right, so now we have installed the software and uh, we now try to launch it. You don't need to have the STM32 Cube IDE open for this one. So we can close this one. And um, you go under where you have uh, installed your applications and you're looking for the file called touch.gfx. Uh, and there are sub several uh, touch.gfx and this is the version that we installed 4.22.1 and you're looking for the designer. You also have the environment, but you don't want to use that one. So the designer, we double click on that one. So now the Touch GFX designer have launched and one good thing is to start with is to go to the documentation page. So you go to help and just hit documentation. Then you come to this tool where you can uh, have some getting started information and stuff. And there are also some tutorials that you can look into. Uh, I will do some uh, videos on it, but this was only to install the software and get it up and running. So. I hope that you have your tools now up and running and uh, can uh, create and uh, 
explore touch dfx designer more give the thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber you know the drill uh, please subscribe and if there is any comments that you would like to give me uh, just give it in the in the chat below so until i see you next time stay safe